B complex vitamins are water soluble and contain the following eight vitamins. In this video, we will learn the deficiency clinical features and sources individually. They have a direct impact on your energy levels, brain function, and cell metabolism. Vitamin B complex helps prevent infections and helps support or promote growth of red blood cells, good eyesight, healthy brain function, better digestion and a healthy appetite, proper nerve function, and hormones and cholesterol production. Vitamin B1, Earthiamin. Vitamin B deficiency leads to Beriberi and Wernicke's encephalopathy. Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome is examiner's all time favorite, so please remember it. Now let's focus on Beriberi. Beriberi in Sinhalese means extreme weakness. Clinical features of which are loss of appetite, weakness, heaviness in legs, fatigue, feeling of pins and numbness in leg, and loss of sensation. It is disease of heart and peripheral nerves. It is mostly due to consumption of polished rice. Vitamin B1 on the outer surface of cereals is lost in the process of polishing. There are two types of beriberi, wet and dry. Wet beriberi is characterized by edema, tachycardia and swelling of leg. In dry beriberi, early symptoms are same as wet one, but muscle becomes progressively wasted and weak and walking becomes difficult. Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome, Wernicke's encephalopathy is acute and reversible, while Korsakoff syndrome is chronic and irreversible. You can memorize it by the mnemonic Cotrac. Cot stands for confusion ophthalmoplegia, ataxia and thiamine deficiency. Rac is retrograde amnesia, anterograde amnesia, confabulation, and Korsakoff psychosis. Sources of vitamin B1 are fortified bread, cereals, lean meat, milk, eggs, cauliflower, flax seeds and potatoes. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin. Riboflavin deficiency leads to chelosis, glossitis or itchy and burny eyes. Chelosis or angular chelitis or stomatitis is inflammation and small cracks in one or both corners of the mouth. Glossitis is a problem in which the tongue is swollen and inflamed. It is popularly called magenta-colored tongue. Lack of riboflavin may also lead to itching and burning eyes, sensitive to light. Five foods that are incredibly rich in vitamin B2 are milk products, almonds, apples, grapes, and eggs. Vitamin B3 or niacin. Deficiency of niacin leads to pellagra hence B3 is also called pellagra preventing factor. Pellagra is commonly referred to as 3Ds. Firstly, diarrhea due to irritation or inflammation of the mucous membranes. Second is dementia wherein the individual is confused or disoriented. Third is dermatitis which is inflammation of the skin. And if this is not treated it leads to fourth D that is death. Five foods rich in vitamin B3 which are easily available are brown rice peanuts, mushrooms especially portobello mushrooms, green peas, and avocado. Vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid. B5 deficiency leads to burning feet syndrome, in which the feet often becomes uncomfortably hot and painful. This may become more intense at night, with some relief occurring during the day. Important sources of vitamin B5 are mushrooms, cabbage, salmon, broccoli, cheese. Vitamin B6 or pyridoxin. Now let's understand the deficiency of vitamin B6. B6 acts as a cofactor in formation of aminolevulinic acid, which is the first step in heme synthesis. Hence as a result due to the deficiency of B6, this step doesn't take place. 
due to which heme synthesis doesn't occur causing sideroblastic anemia. Sidero stands for iron and blast means immature cells, while anemia is decrease in number of healthy RBCs, and all this is because the iron is not being incorporated to form hemoglobin. Vitamin B7 or biotin. Now please focus on the action of biotin which is very important for medical exams. Biotin is a cofactor for three carboxylases. Firstly for pyruvate carboxylase in gluconeogenesis. Secondly for acetyl-CoA carboxylase in fatty acid synthesis. And lastly for propionyl-CoA carboxylase in amino acid metabolism. Biotin deficiency leads to alopecia. B7 deficiency is caused due to consumption of raw eggs on a regular basis. Egg whites contain avidin, a protein that binds biotin strongly, which makes it unavailable for intestinal absorption. When cooked, avidin is partially denatured and binding to biotin is reduced. Five foods incredibly abundant in biotin are tomatoes, walnuts, eggs, sweet potato, and spinach. Vitamin B9 or folic acid or folate. Five foods plentiful in vitamin B9 are leafy greens, legumes, citrus fruits, nuts, and eggs. We'll learn deficiency of B9 along with B12. Vitamin B12 or cabalmin. Five foods super rich in B12 are fortified cereals, soy milk, milk, eggs, and shiitake mushrooms. Now let's understand the deficiency of both. B9 and B12 both cause megaloblastic anemia, but let's understand the difference. B9 and B12 both participate in one carbon metabolism. B9 is a cofactor for only one enzyme homocystine methyltransferase, but B12 for two that is homocystine methyltransferase, but also cofactor for methylmalonyl-CoA mutis. So in megaloblastic anemia due to B9 deficiency, you'll only see hyperhomocysteinemia. That is only homocystine level would have increased. But in megaloblastic anemia due to B12 deficiency not only homocystine, but even the levels of methylmalonyl-CoA would have gone up. So this is how you can differentiate. Thanks for watching. If you liked it please make sure to subscribe like and share.